Hello guys, welcome back to this channel and thanks for viewing this video. Today we are going to talk about scroll pane. So there's a Java GUI class called the JScroll pane that is used to create, uh, to make scrollable view of a component. So when a screen size is limited, for example, we use a scroll pane to display a large component or a component whose size can change dynamically. So I'm gonna show you that in this video. So let's start the coding. Here, as usual, I have the MyFrame class and then the test app class where I'm creating the frame object. So in the MyFrame, we are going to write uh, basically all our code. So let me first comment. Now, this layout, I'm going to say that I am using the flow layout here. So I'm going to say new flow layout like this. Okay, so that's it for the layout. So in order to illustrate uh, the scroll pane, just scroll pane, we're going to use a text area and then apply the scroll pane to that text area. So I'm going to say J text area, I'll call it text area like this and new J text area. So I will set the width and the height of this text area. So I'll say 100, 100, and then semicolon. So now I need to create a scroll pane. So scroll pane, I'll call it scroll pane like this. And I'm going to say new J scroll pane and I'll pass text area. So that means that the scroll pane is going to be applied to the text area object we created. So now if you want to add this to the frame, what we're going to do is to add the scroll pane object to the frame. So we will say this, that add, or I can use the get content pane like this. So this is going to make sure I'm having access to the content pane of my frame. And then I'll add in the add method. I will say scroll pane and semicolon. So let me run. And now you can see that the text area is on the frame. Let me decrease the width and the height and run. Yeah, so if I try to write, you know, so when I write uh, some text that is going beyond the width of my text area, there you can see that the scroll pane is appearing. Okay, so I will simply set this to 500. 40 and 30. So 14. Okay, let's see to five here. Okay, so this is the text area. And if I write some text, all right, so now you can see the scroll bar. So we're gonna add some scroll bar policy here. So I will say scroll pane that set horizontal scroll bar policy. That will be just scroll pane, not horizontal scroll bar always. And then semicolon. I'll add for the vertical side as well. So this will be set vertical scroll bar policy. Then just scroll pane, that vertical scroll bar always. And then when I run, so there you can see that the scroll bar, the vertical side and the horizontal scroll bar will always show, even if no text is written in the text area. Okay, so this, this is what these two lines of code are doing. So let's, for example, yeah. so here, there, you can see that the scroll bar is working. So what else we can do is that we can set the line wrap to the text area. So I'll say text area, that line wrap, uh, that will be set line wrap, and that will be true. So if I run and write some text here, there you can see that whenever it reaches the border of the text area, it comes back to the next line. So if I can comment this line of code, for example, and uh, I'm simply going to copy some dummy text here, come up and run. So only the vertical scroll bar is showing. So now if I copy and paste some text here, yeah, you can see the scroll bar. So you know what else we can actually do here for the text area? Uh, we can set the margin. So if I say text, sorry for that, text area at set margin. And in the brackets, we will say new insert and 10, 10, 10, and 10 again. So import the insert class. So now when I run, you can see that I'm having the margin like this. 
All right. So guys, that's it on, you know, how you can apply the scroll pane using the J scroll pane to create a scroll bar on a GUI component. So in our example here, we use the text area. So a J text area instance, and uh, we added um, J scroll pane, a scroll bar to it. And uh, some of these various methods were used to actually play around that. So I hope this video was informative and please don't forget to like, to share and subscribe to this YouTube channel for more videos like this one. Let's meet in the next one.